and gentlemen, welcome to this evening's program. Join with me in the comfort of your homes in saying a prayer to our Lord to start the program. Let's bow our heads to prayer, please. Dear Lord, we thank you for life. We thank you for health. We thank you for strength. And as we are about to render praises to you this evening, we ask that you would come into our midst to bless. In Jesus' name, amen. And so this evening, join with me as we lift our voices and praise to the Lord. together again let's go we are together again praising the Lord we are together again in one accord something good is about to happen something good is in store we are together again praising the Lord let's sing that again we are together again praising the Lord we are together again in one accord something good is about to happen something good is in store we are together again praising the lord i am blessed i am blessed every day of my life i am blessed when i wake up in the morning and i lay my head to rest every day of my life i am blessed We'll build on the rock, the living rock, on Jesus, the rock of ages. So shall we abide that fearful shock when loud the tempest rages. We will build on the rock, we will build on the rock. We will build on the rock, on the solid rock, on Christ the mighty rock. Some build on the sinking sands of life, on visions of earthly treasure. Some build on the waves of sin and strife, of fame and worldly pleasure. We'll build on the rock, we will build on the rock, we will build on the rock, on the solid rock, on Christ the mighty rock. You see God isn't there. He is still alive, God isn't dead, He is still alive, God isn't dead, He is still alive, I can feel Him in my heart, I can feel Him in my soul, I can feel Him all over me. Some build on the sinking sense of life, on visions of earthly treasure. Some build on the waves of sin and strife, of fame and worldly pleasure. So we will build on the rock, we will build on the rock. We will build on the rock, on the solid rock. On Christ, the mighty rock, He never failed me yet. He never failed me yet. My Jesus Christ never failed me yet. And everywhere I go, I want the world to know my Jesus Christ never failed me yet. So I will build on the rock forever. Show the firm and the true foundation. Its hope is the hope which shall endure, the hope of our salvation. We'll build on the rock, we will build on the rock, we will build on the rock, on the solid rock. 
on Christ the mighty rock. Let's sing now. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus, just to take him at his word, just to rest upon his promise, just to know the said the Lord. Sing with me, Jesus. How I trust him, how I've proved him more and more. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust him more. Oh, how sweet to trust in Jesus, just to trust his cleansing blood, just in simple faith to plunge in me, the healing, cleansing flood. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him, how I've roofed him more and more. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust him more. Yes, it is sweet to trust in Jesus, just from sin and self to cease, just from Jesus simply taken, life and rest and joy and peace. Jesus, how I trust him, how I've proved him more and more. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust him more. I'm so glad I learned to trust thee, precious Jesus, Savior, my friend. And I know that thou art with me, will be with me till the end. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him, how I've proved him more and more. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust Him more. My Jesus, I love Thee, I know Thou art mine. For Thee, all the follies of sin I resign. My gracious Redeemer, my Savior, at Thou, if ever I love Thee, my Jesus, tis now, you see, I love Thee because Thou hast first loved me. You purchased my pardon on Calvary's tree. I love thee for wearing the tongues on thy brow. If ever I love thee, my Jesus, is now I love I will love thee in death. I'll praise thee as long as thou lendest me breath. And say when the dead do lies cold on my brow, if ever I love thee, my Jesus, tis now then in mansions of glory and endless delight. Yes, my Jesus, I'll ever adore thee in heaven so bright. And then I'll sing with the glittering crown on my brow. If ever I love thee, my Jesus, 
is now see jesus i am dying oh lord i have heard thy voice and the told thy love to me but i long to rise in the arms of faith and be closer drawn to thee draw me nearer nearer blessed lord to the cross where thou hast died draw me nearer nearer blessed lord to thy precious bleeding side consecrate me now to thy service lord by the power of grace divine may my soul look up with a steadfast hope and my will be lost and thine draw me nearer nearer blessed lord to the cross where thou hast died draw me nearer nearer blessed lord to thy precious bleeding side oh the pure delight of a single love that before thy throne i spend see when i kneel in prayer and with thee my god i commune as a friend with friend draw me nearer nearer blessed lord to the cross where thou hast died draw me nearer nearer blessed lord to thy precious bleeding side one more time he never failed me yet never failed me yet my jesus christ never failed me yet and everywhere i go i want the world to know my jesus christ never failed me yet let me hear you say amen 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 and sing with me now amen 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 hey good night everybody Good night, it's so good to see you, so good for so many of us to be on the program here tonight. I want you to join us as we sing that beautiful song, Majesty, worship his majesty unto Jesus, be glory, honor, and praise. Where you are, in your living room, in your car, wherever you are, sing with us please. Majesty, worship is majesty, unto Jesus, be all glory, honor, and praise. Jesus the King, oh, our King, Majesty. Come on, sing. Worship is Majesty. Jesus who died, now glorify. Jesus who died, now glorified. Jesus who died, now glorified. Welcome you tonight to the very 
first night of this Good News CARU Impact. CARU is Caribbean Union Conference. Let me welcome you from all of the 10 fields within the union. Welcome all our presidents. Welcome the president of the union, those who are looking in the Caribbean, those from Bahamas, those from the United States, those from around the world. Hey, tell somebody that from tonight and for the next four or five weeks, that the gospel of Jesus Christ will be preached with power and with authority. May God bless you. Our sermon tonight is, are you ready for COVID-20? Are you ready for COVID-20? Let's bow our heads as we have a word of prayer. Oh God, thank you for the opportunity to begin this virtual evangelistic campaign. May you be with us, be with the musicians, be with the preacher, be with the listeners. And Lord, may the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in your sight. O oh Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Amen. 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 Well, we're going to be here tonight. We start tonight and we're going to be here on Saturday night, Saturday morning and Saturday night. Saturday night around the same time. So we're going to be here Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, and Thursday night, we have a rest night, okay? Our sermon tonight is a very intriguing one, very, very intriguing one. Are we ready for COVID-20? I want to begin by saying that the novel coronavirus has taken just a few months to sweep the globe. How many more will die? How will society change? These questions are impossible to fathom as the disease rages. Listen to me, please. But history shows that past pandemics have reshaped societies in profound ways. Hundreds of millions of people have died. Empires have fallen. Governments have cracked. Life in general has changed. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there's no pandemic where people have not died. True. I did some research and found out that for the Italian plague, 1629 to 1631, one million persons died. One million, preacher. The third plague, 1885, 12 million died. 12 million, preacher. My Lord. Then there was the 1918 flu, 1918 to 1920, 50 million people 50 million died. Mm, that's My a Lord. lot of people. And then we can't forget HIV, which is still with us, that's 1981 right. to current, that's right. 35 million people have died. And then there's SARS and swine flu and, and Ebola. I want to say, ladies and gentlemen, and I want you to turn your eyes to the screen in this pandemic, Many well-known people have died. Yes. Herman Cain, the former CEO of the Godfather's Pizza. Then there's rapper Fred the Godson. He wrote on social media of his diagnostics on April 6, 2020, but he did not recover. Mm. Then you have Larry King, talk show host of CNN, January 23rd, 2021. He died. And of course, Maria Mercader, a CS News veteran who worked for over 30 years. She died on March 26, 2020. And the list goes on, ladies and gentlemen. And so over 2.4 million deaths and some 112 million, 205, 917 are still affected. And so I asked the question, will there be a second wave? And if there is a second wave, can we call it COVID-20? Mm. Oh, my friends listening to me here tonight, countries around the world are increasingly adopting sweeping measures, including full lockdowns, shutting down the airports, imposing travel restrictions, and completely sealing their borders. It would appear to me, ladies and gentlemen, that COVID-19 can transform any time and anywhere 
quantitatively and qualitatively. Listen to me here. Well, quantitatively and qualitatively. And I believe, reader, I believe as well that COVID-19 is what? Is transforming and generating a new mutation that can change into a new virus. Mm. Serious thing. The new virus will be entitled COVID-20. And so the question is this. What does COVID-19 have to do with the end of time? Is COVID-19 changing lives? So listen to me here tonight. Are people turning to God because of COVID-19? And the final question is, what is God's response to this virus that has killed so many people? I want you to know, ladies and gentlemen, that while we are in crisis, God is not. God is not in crisis. No way. God is never in crisis. God is still in control. Yes, he got the whole world in his hands. He got the whole wide world in his hands. He got the whole world in his hands. He got the whole world in his hands. He got the mother and the father in his hands. He got the government. In his hands, he got everybody. In his hands, he got the whole world in his hands. He got the whole world in his hands. He got the whole wide world in his hands. He got the whole world in his hands. He got the whole world. And so I want you to know. That while we are in crisis, God is not. God did not send COVID-19 to planet Earth. Did you hear me? Can I say it again? Yes. I say God did not send COVID-19 to planet Earth. The book of Job shows that God is in control and God allows evil to prevail for a time. Did you hear me? Can I say it again? The book of Job shows that God is in control and that God allows evil to prevail for a time. And when you read the book of Job, my people, God did not kill the children of Job. God did not take away his livestock. God did not give him souls. The book tells us that God blessed Job and, yes. and made him twice as, as wealthy as he had been before. Yes, sir. And so if we had to think biblically about this pandemic or whatever the situation we find ourselves in, it is imperative that we first understand these two fundamental truths yes, about God. The first one is that God is great. God is great, preacher. Yes, sir. And the second one is that God is good. God is good. And it's not that he was great. He was great, yes, and he is great, and he will always be great. And yes, he sir. was good, and he is good, and he always will be good. Yes, sir. Yes, preacher. I want you to look at the greatness of God in Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 7. Yes, sir. Isaiah 45 and verse 7. Please read with me, please. Yes, what it says here? It says, I form the light mm -hmm. and create darkness. I made peace and create evil. Mm. I, the Lord, do all these things. And so note here today, note the following. God made the light. Mm -hmm. God made the night. <laughs> God made man who sinned. Mm -hmm. God never sinned. Never sinned. Is preacher. anybody listening to me here? Yes, sir. Therefore, here is the context. As darkness mm -hmm. is only the privation of light. Yes, sir. So the evil of war is the privation of peace. Of peace Are preacher. you listening to me here? Yes, sir. In addition, there is parallelism here. The parallelism shows that evil is the opposite of peace and prosperity. And my friends around the world, my friend across the Caribbean, my friends in New York, in the Bahamas, God is not the author of moral evil and sin. Can I say that again? Yes, sir. I say God is not the author of moral evil and sin. As creator, he presides over, over adverse as well as prosperous events. Yes, sir. God did not lose control. And God will not lose control humanity did that's right come on is anybody listening to me here and i want you to hear this 
God will not relinquish his authority. Can I say it again? I say God will not relinquish his authority of this planet. This is his world. I said this is his world. That's right. This is my father's world. His world. Mm. And to my listening ear, all nature sings and round me rings the music of the spheres. This is my father's world. Why should my heart be sad? Hey, the Lord is king. Let the heavens ring. God reigns. Let the earth be glad. And I want to exclaim here today. Watch me here. God is not just great, but God is good. Amen. Can I say it again? Yes. I say God is not just great, but God is. God is good, preacher. Psalm good. 145 and verse 9. The Lord is good. To, to all, some. To all preachers. I say the Lord is good to some. To all preachers. The Lord is good to all. And his tender mercies are over this. In fact, his tender mercies are over his works. All his works. We preacher. serve a good God. Yes, preacher. It appears to me, ladies and gentlemen, that COVID-19 and if COVID-20 comes, they are just signs of his soon return. Mm. In addition, the Bible proves and shows explicitly the ultimate sign of the, of the parousia. Can I say it again? Mm -hmm. I say the Bible proves and the Bible shows explicitly the ultimate sign of his parousia. And it is clear that the coming of the Son of Man is a predicted event in the Bible. Yes, sir. It will happen. Yes, sir. I say it will happen. Mm -hmm. Just as the sun will shine tomorrow, it will yes. happen. Yes, sir. Just as there is day and night, it will happen. It will happen. Nobody can stop it. No prime minister can stop it. It will happen. If God says so, it is so. Yes, if sir. God says he's coming again, then, then God is coming again. Yes, sir. That's right. Now follow me here. Follow me here. What is authentic and positive about these predictions is that the author of the Bible, the what? The author of the Bible. Ah, and the catalyst of the Christian church made them. They were not made by any psychics. All right. All or right. by any professor. Yes, preacher. Or Come by on. any prime minister. Mm. They were made by God. By God himself. They were preacher. made by God. Yes, sir. The Bible says in Matthew 24 and verse 7. Come on, read what yes, it says sir. here. There shall be famines and pestilences. And earthquakes in diverse places. That is in Matthew. Matthew did not say that. God said that. Yes, it sir. is written and read in the Bible. And if God says it, it will happen. Yes, sir. And he says in Luke chapter 21 and verse 11. Come on, yes, reader. What it, it says, says here? Famines and pestilences and fearful sights. Fearful sights. Mm -hmm. And so if Jesus made these predictions... The second person of the Godhead who became man. Ladies and gentlemen, there is one thing that is certain. Put it on the screen. Yes. There's one thing that is certain. It will happen. It will happen. Yes, sir. Pestilences will come. Earthquakes will take place. Yes. Oh, hear me. You all hear me, please. Are you all hearing me here? Yes, sir. Loud and clear, preach. Even with the presence of COVID-19, earthquakes are still devastating countries. That's right, preacher. That's right. Look what just happened in Texas. All the block out and the, and the, the snowstorm. God is in control, man. God runs things down here. Yes, yes. I want you to understand that, man. Listen to me here today, please. Do that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, even the researchers who study Earth's movement are reporting a drop in seismic noise, the internet shows that over 50 earthquakes have occurred in 2020. Mm -hmm. With COVID, you have earthquakes. We. <laughs> Nevertheless, the point is this. If the Bible says that the signs will occur, then they will occur. Yes, sir. That's the right. The Bible says in Luke chapter 21 and verse 11. Come on, read it here, somebody. What it says? And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places. And Matthew 24, 33 says, So when you see all these things happen, uh, uh -huh. uh, you will know that what, reader? Time has almost come. That's right. But there's a particular sign. That changes lives. This sign breaks down barriers. All right, preacher. Stay with me here tonight. Help yes, me, Lord. Sir. 
This sign lifts up the protagonist of the universe. Mm -hmm. I said there are over 100 verses about this sign. Mark chapter 16 and verse 15 says, And he said unto them, what? Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. And 1 Corinthians 1 and verse 23 says what? But we preach Christ crucified unto the Jews a stumbling block and unto the Greeks foolishness. And the Bible says in, 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 in Timothy 4 and verses 1 and 2, I charge thee, preach the word. That's right. The instant in, in season. season yes, and preacher. out of season, preacher. And so my friends here listening today, my friends from around the Caribbean and all over the world, the particular sign that changes lives is the preaching of the gospel. Say that again, preacher. Man, come on, man. I can't hear you, but That's say right. amen, man. Let me say it again. I said a particular sign that changes lives is the what? The preaching of the gospel. And the text in the Bible that bursts this thing open mm -hmm. is found in the book of Matthew. Yes, sir. It's found in the book of what? The book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 14. Come on, everybody. Yes. In your living room, in your car, in the hotel, wherever you are. Let's read together what it says. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Now, my friends here, listen to me, please. The gospel spoken of here is not local. It is universal. Yes, that's right. And what this pandemic has done yes. is to allow the gospel to move from local to universal. That's right, preacher. That's right. I am hearing Barbados in a little room with some guys in a corner preaching, but you are seeing it in, in Venezuela. Yes. You are seeing it in Africa. Yes. You are seeing it in the USA. Yes. Is anybody here? Yes, sir. And hear me? COVID-19 has closed borders, yes. closed airport, yes. restricted travel, but it has not stopped the preaching of the gospel. No way, preacher. Gospel must be preached. But the danger is this. Some religious leaders have suggested that the virus is God's message for his people. Mm. Hey, you all listen to me here today. Mm. Listen to me here. Let me tell you. Listen. COVID-19 is not God's message for his people. Mm. COVID-19 is giving God the opportunity to highlight the preaching of the gospel. That's right, preacher. That's Are you right. you listen to me here? Yes. Let me say it again. I say COVID-19 mm -hmm. is giving what? God, God the mm -hmm. opportunity to what? Highlight the preaching of the gospel. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. But in the context of the verse, Matthew 24, 14. Which gospel is it talking about? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the text in the English Standard Version of the Bible. Yes, sir. Matthew 24, 14. And this gospel of the kingdom, uh -huh, mm -hmm. reader, will, will be what? Be, will be proclaimed throughout the whole world as a testimony to all nations. And then the end will come. What is clear to me is this. It is not a new gospel. All right. And what the gospel tells us is good news. That's right, preacher. Coronavirus is bad news, but the gospel is? Good news. That's right. And it is this gospel. That's right, preacher. Preached in Africa, preached in Asia, and, and preached in China, preached all around the Caribbean, preached in America. Can I make a declaration here? Yes, sir. I said, can I make a declaration make here? It, preacher. I declare tonight that the gospel of the kingdom has striking global implications. Ah, yes, sir. You didn't hear that. Let me say that again. Yes, preacher. I said the gospel of the kingdom has striking global implications. Yes. In short, mm -hmm. it is fundamentally, help me Jesus, thank you Jesus. Yes. It is fundamentally a message about what Jesus has done to save sinners. Yes, amen. That's all it's all about. He shed his blood. Yes, sir. He shed his what? His blood, preacher. Oh, the blood mm -hmm. that Jesus shed for me way back on Calvary It's that blood That gives me strength From day to day It will never lose 
His power help me say for it reaches to the highest mountain <laughs> and it flows to the lowest valley oh my Lord the blood that gives me Hallelujah. Talking about this Jesus, he wore a crown of thorns. You can find it in Paris, in the Notre Dame Cathedral. Mm -hmm. Took the cross for some. 1,950 feet up the Via Dolorosa. That is not just duty, that is love. Yes, sir. Love, preacher. That's love. That's right. Hey, my friends, here to put it into perspective. I seek your permission to move to a few verses in the book of Revelation. An apocalyptic prophecy which lifts up Jesus and gave this message perspective. We look at the message of the first of the three angels. Mm -hmm. The first exhorts us to fear and worship God. Yes. The second one proclaims that Babylon... It's fallen. It's fallen, preacher. Yes. It's fallen. That's right. And the third gives warning concerning the beast. The beast. Yes, sir. The Bible says in Revelation 6, 14, 6 and 7. Come on, reader. Please read what it says. Revelation uh, 14, 6 and 7. What it says? It says, And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth, and to every nation and kindred, and town and people. And it says in the next verse, verse 7, saying with what voice? Saying with a loud voice, fear God and give glory to him, for the hour of his judgment is come. And worship him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains of waters. Now let's, let's, let's talk. You know, angel in the text means messenger. Means what? Messenger. You say, explain, pastor. Anyone who preaches the gospel is an angel. All right. Okay, a messenger. Sir. Yes, sir. And the word everlasting, the word everlasting shows that, that the gospel is not a new gospel. Mm. Therefore, my friends, listening to me here tonight, uh, the gospel we preach is the same gospel that saved Adam. Yes, sir. That saved Peter. Yes, sir. That Come saved on, John. Yes. No wonder Matthew calls it the, 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 the gospel. In fact, not just the gospel, but Matthew calls it this, this gospel. This gospel, preacher. It's no ordinary gospel. It's a gospel that lifts up Jesus. Yes, lifts sir. up the cross Come of on, Christ. That, it's preacher. a gospel that draws people to Jesus Christ. Yes. It doesn't draw people to preachers or to reverend or to pastors. It draws people to Jesus. Yes, sir. This gospel, preacher. This gospel. Yes. And please do not miss the expression with a loud voice. Mm. Loud voice expresses urgency. In the most zealous and forcible manner. Yes. Are you listening to me? The loud voice highlights three important aspects of the gospel. The first one is to fear God. Yes, sir. The second one is to do what? Give, Give him, him glory. glory. And the third one is to? Worship him. In the context of the book of Revelation, fearing God is rendering homage. Rendering what? Homage, preacher. Homage, not to the beast, nor to his image, nor to any idol, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but to the true God. Yes. Idols have eyes, but they can't see. Can't see. Mm -hmm. They have ears, but they can't Come hear. On, but God word, has preacher. eyes, and He can see, and ears, and He can hear. 
And human beings might have eyes and ears, but they die. They fall dead from cancer, diabetes, stroke. But God is divine and divinity means he can die. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, the substance of the gospel is giving glory to God. Yes. Hmm? That's the substance. Not one day a week, but daily. daily. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And let me say to you, one day Christians is not just one day a week, it's every day. <laughs> yes. Gotta live your religion. One day? Mm -mm. Every day. Gotta live your religion every day. Gotta live your religion every day. Hear it. On a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yes. You got to live your religion every day. That's right, preacher. Not one day of a week, but daily. Huh? On the plane, on the train, yes. in the bus. How do we give him glory, Pastor Morgie? Acknowledge him as the only true God. Yes, that's right. And please note, please note, listen yes, to sir. me here. Your pastor is not a God. Right. Mm. Your church is not your God. Mm -hmm. I want you to note again, please note again, that these angels are crying aloud against idolatry. Yes. Admonishing all men to give divine adoration only to the creator of all things. Give glory to him. Yes. Therefore, the conclusion is clear. Yes, sir. If you fear God, if you choose to give him glory, then worship, then worship in him comes naturally. That's right. And it is clear from the text who this God is Revelation 14 7 says read it pastor worship him that what worship him that made heaven, heaven and earth and earth the sea and the fountains of water yes sir and the only other verse that affirms this ownership is found in the Ten Commandments can I talk about it yes sir yes sir I don't know why people are afraid of it it's beautiful they represent God's character. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. Not just nine of them, ten. Yes. And people ask me around the world, why do you keep Sabbath? I don't keep Sabbath because the Seventh-day Adventist Church keeps it. Mm -hmm. I keep Sabbath because Jesus kept it. That's right, preacher. And that's my example, man. Yes. And that's so I right. travel the world and I meet Pentecostal pastors and preachers and evangelicals and, 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 and they challenge me on the Sabbath. Hey, buddy, I keep it because Jesus kept it. That's right. I was baptized because Jesus was baptized. Yes, Come sir. on, somebody talk to me here, man. Hey, I'm getting excited here, man. Yes, sir. I go to church because he went to church. Yes, sir. Exodus 20 and verse 11. Come on, read it. Read what it says. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. In addition, if you miss anything, do not miss this. The time was predicted when the everlasting gospel will be made to fly speedily throughout the earth. Yes. And so the COVID-19 pandemic has impacted religion in various ways. Yes. Closed down borders, canceled worship service, cancellation of pilgrimage. However, if there is one thing it has not stopped and cannot stop and will not stop is the preaching of yes. the gospel. Preaching of the gospel, preacher. Matthew 24, 14. Can we read it again? Yes, and sir. this gospel of the kingdom shall be what? Proclaimed in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. Yes, sir. And so hear me. When the gospel is preached, the Bible is lifted up. Oh, yes. When the gospel is preached, Jesus is lifted up. That's right. Psalm 119 and 105 says, Thy mm -hmm. word is a what? A lamp. Come on, you all see the thing, mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. Thy word is a what? A lamp. Unto man, you all my see feet. the thing, the man. Uh -huh. God, thy word is a what? A lamp. A lamp unto my what? My, my feet, preacher. And it's not just a lamp, but a light unto my, my path. My path, preacher. And so when the gospel is proclaimed, the people turn mm -hmm. from sin to Savior. Is anybody here? Yes. Isaiah 30 and verse 21 says, mm -hmm. and, 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 and thine eyes shall what? Then and thine eyes shall hear a word behind thee saying, saying what? This is the way. Mm -hmm. Walk ye in it. It's the way walk ye in it. Yes. Mm. 
And so COVID-19 <laughs> or COVID-20 cannot stop the preaching of the gospel. Can I whisper it? Yes. Can I come a little closer and say Yes, it? preacher. Shh, shh, shh. COVID-19 or COVID-20 or make it 21 or take it to 31. Yes. It cannot stop the preaching of the gospel. Cannot the preacher. preaching of the gospel is in God's domain. Yes. And God still run things down here. God controls the stratosphere and the atmosphere and the and the lithosphere and yes. the and the biosphere. Is anybody here? Yes, sir. How yes, great is our God? Sing with me. How great is our God? All of us see how great, how great is our God. And the core message of the gospel is this. Mark 16, 16. He that believeth. Yes. And is what? Baptized. When you all say the thing. Yes, mind. preacher. Mark 16, 16 says what? He that what? Believeth. And is what? Is baptized. Shall be what? Shall be saved. Come on, man. Say the thing again. Mm -hmm. Come on, everybody. In your chair, in your car. Mm -hmm. Wheresoever you are. Come on, Bahamians. Come on, Americans. Come on, Caribbean people. Say it again. He that what? Believeth. And is what? Baptized. Shall be? Saved. But? Mm -hmm. He that believeth not shall be? Damned. These are the words of Jesus. Yes. And so what do you believe? Mm. I believe the gospel. Yes. I keep the Sabbath because God kept it, man. I keep the commandments because Jesus kept it. Yes, sir. And Jesus said, if you love me. <laughs> yes, right, preacher. If you love me, man. Mm -hmm. What is the gospel? Yes. It is the good news of the second coming of Jesus. That's right, preacher. He's coming again. Yes. Maybe holy he comes. He's coming. Riding on a cloud. Shining like the sun at the trumpet call, just lift your heart. It's the year of Jubilee out of Zion's hill, salvation comes. Of Elijah declaring the words of the Lord, <laughs> and these are the days of his servant Moses, righteousness being restored, and these are the days of great triumph of darkness and famine and sword and these are the voice in the desert crying prepare me the way of the lord before he comes yeah. riding on a cloud yeah, yeah. shining like the sun at the trumpet call lift your voice it's the year of jubilee out of science till salvation comes. There's no God. There's no God. There's no God like Jehovah. 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 At the trumpet call, lift your voice. It's the year of Jubilee. Out of Zion's hill, salvation. Come. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
Let me say here. Let me say here before I appeal to you today. Baptism is an essential element of the gospel. Yes, sir. Because the text says, he that believeth. Yes. And is. Baptized. Baptized. Yes, preacher. These virtual programs are not to lift up the preacher or the tech guys. It's to lift up Jesus. That's right. So lead men and women into the watery grave of baptism. Millions have died maybe without Christ. Millions. But you are alive. And thank God for grace. Come on, somebody say amen. amen. Hey, COVID-19 has taken some one plus million lives, huh? Hmm? Doctors, nurses, That's right. politicians, businessmen, the rich, the poor. Those who have died can, can no longer respond to the gospel, but you can. That's right. Can I say it again? I said, those who have died can no longer respond to the gospel, but you can. Yes. And hear this, hear this. You all listen to me here. The motivation behind the gospel is God's grace alone. That's right, preacher. Yes, sir. Say it again, preacher. He will forgive you. He will take you. Doesn't matter how far you have gone. Can I say something here? This is the bombshell. Write it down. Grace has no nationality. No grace nation. has no color. Amen, preacher. The same grace that reaches the high reaches the low. That's right. That's the right, same preacher. grace that reaches the poor reaches the rich. Reaches the rich. Amen. Thank God for grace. Moreover, ladies and gentlemen, listen to me, please. Listen to me. Don't take up that phone. Don't do anything. Listen. Grace uses adjectives like amazing. Yes. Abundant. Grace uses adjectives like extraordinary. Yes. And I love this one. I love this adjective. It uses adjectives like marvelous. Marvelous, yes, preacher. As we sing at church, marvelous grace of our loving Lord. Mm -hmm. Grace that exceeds our sin and our guilt. Yonder on Calvary's mount of God, there where the blood of the Lamb was spilled. Hey, grace, grace, I want the God can give grace. Abundant grace. Do you want it tonight? I want to ask you three questions. As you come to an end tonight, looking forward to see you tomorrow night. Well, tomorrow in the day, Sabbath. And then on Saturday night. For the first one, you'll put up one hand. Do you love the gospel of grace? Yeah, man. Oh, yes. Of course. It's for me. For the second one, you'll put up both hands, but you'll Hold them as if you are asking God for grace. Has COVID-19 in increased your appreciation for the grace of God? Has it? Oh, yes. Yes? Mm -hmm. I could have been dead. Dead. Came into Barbados, had to be quarantined. If you saw the folks in the hotel treat you, hands off. Everybody think you have COVID. Thank God for grace. Get a little cough, <clears throat> everybody. And the third one, the third one, I want you to sing with me as you answer the third one. The gospel of grace is about Jesus who died to give us amazing grace. Yes. Will you embrace the gospel of grace? If you will sing with me, please. I say yes, Lord, yes, to your will and to your will. I say yes, yes Lord, Lord, yes, I, I will trust you and obey when, when your spirit speaks to me. With, with my whole heart, heart I'll agree, and my answer will be yes, Lord, Lord yes. Yeah. Can you sing it with me? Sing it. Yeah. I'll say yes, Lord, yes, to your will. I say yes, Lord, yes, 
I will trust you and obey when your spirit speaks to me with my whole heart I'll agree and my answer will be yes Lord yeah oh hallelujah hallelujah Amen. hey next Saturday March the 6th there's so many people who have been prepared for baptism. We want you to join them. If you have left, come back. God loves you still. If you're not keeping all of his commandments and you want to do that, he said, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. If nobody never comes to you, I know where you live, you can find a Seventh-day Adventist. Call, look, and you'll find the numbers on the screen. Who to call and who to contact. People are there eager, just waiting to lead you to the foot of the cross. Yes. I remember my time. I remember when I had the opportunity to accept Christ. From Calypso to Christian. Yes. Now I'm a pastor. And I thank God for his grace. So make up your mind, get ready on the six. Hundreds of people will be baptized. And you don't want to be. Left out. Can you sing it with me, please? I don't wanna be left out. I don't wanna be left out. I don't wanna be left out. Out of the kingdom of God. Sing, 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 sing. Hey, I don't wanna be left out. I don't wanna be left out. I don't wanna be left. Of the kingdom of God on the banks oh on the banks of the riverside someday we will meet and pray oh lord you know just how i long for such a beautiful day when all your people will be there out there in that quiet place oh yes sitting at jesus all because of his grace. Sing with me, please. I, I don't want to be left out. No, no, no. I don't want to be left out. Oh, no. I don't want to be left out. Out of the kingdom of God. Sing the chorus once again. I don't want to be left out. Oh, I don't want to be left out. I don't want to be left out. God bless you. Thank you for listening tonight. Please invite a friend tomorrow night. Please gather people at your home. Put on your mask and listen to the gospel. Come and join us Sabbath morning as I preach to you again. May God bless you. Thanks for listening. You will see the topic for tomorrow morning on the screen. Bow your heads with me please as we pray. Father God, thank you. Merci beaucoup. Thank you, Lord. Glacius, thank you for your grace. Thank you for the opportunity, Lord, to start this evangelistic program, this virtual program. Even though we are locked down and we can't go out, Lord, we can still preach the gospel. I pray that the message tonight would have touched many hearts. And come March the 6th, many folks will accept Christ and be baptized. Thank you for hearing this prayer. Thank you for answering this prayer. Thank you, God, for the folks behind the scenes, the young people, the technocrats, those who are making sure that this program is streamed around the world. Thank you for those in Bahamas who have joined and those in America. I pray, God, that they'll send the message near and far so that at the end, we can lead men and women to the foot of the cross. Thank you for hearing and thank you for answering. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen.